up, baby? This is your boy Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wild, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Look, I'm just gonna cut straight to the chase, man. I hear about this here with Fury backing out two weeks before a fight. Come on, man. Y'all already know they got a history of doing stuff. A family history as that. Oh, yeah. I heard about the injury. Yeah. It, they said it was a, a lack of self-confidence. And that sounded about right. But anyway, moving on, man. That's ridiculous. Joseph Parker, if you're really serious about fighting somebody, if you're really serious about unifying the division, if you're really serious about giving the fans what they want to see, then what other person that's available than me? I got the WBC, you got the WBO, let's make it happen. I'm available right now. Forget all them other scrubs that's up in the division coming up. Right now you're talking about another champion versus another champion. Let's make a unification bout at the end of the year. We get a mega fight against the winner, Klitschko and John. Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hey, you just saw the video. Deontay Wilder. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder just called out Joseph Parker. The boy from New Zealand. The boy with that WBO belt. Look, man. Deontay Wilder said he wants to fight Joseph Parker in July. Joseph Parker has a scheduled fight on May 6th. Okay? Now, Huey Fury dropped out of the fight. So they're scrambling to find a new opponent for May 6th. Not in July. Now... Joseph Parker could take the fight. I mean, so long as the WBO okays it, right? Wouldn't they have to okay a fight between him and Wilder and push their fight, you know, to sometime in July? Also, wouldn't the WBC have to okay the fight as well? Because if I'm not mistaken, on February, what was that, the 26th? I think it was February 26th, right? Yeah, it was February 26th. The WBC ordered a rematch between Bermain Stavern and Deontay Wilder. How come I haven't heard shit about that since then? Now, I'm not saying I want Deontay Wilder to go through with that fight. I would love for him to have a unification bout with Joseph Parker. But what's really going on? What's, what's the real motive behind this shit right now? That's what I want to know. Now... I'm assuming that Deontay Wilder would have to pay Bermain Stavern some sort of step-aside money so that he could go ahead and, you know, take this fight with Joseph Parker. I mean, maybe I don't know what the fuck's going on. Let me know. You let me know what's going on, all right? You drop a comment and let me know how that works, all right? But as far as the two of these dudes fighting, yeah, I want to see it. I want to see a unification bout. You know, you already know who I got winning the fight. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised at my pick. You know, I would go with Deontay Wilder to win the fight, to be honest. You know? But I doubt that this fight happens on at some point in July. Joseph Parker and his team will more than likely um, pick someone who's ranked in the top 10 or 15 with the WBO. Not named Deontay Wilder. Simple as that. Um, you know, he probably needs a, you know, take another tune-up fight before he fights Wilder. To be honest with you, um, you know, Deontay Wilder said he's willing to go to New Zealand uh, to fight Parker. So props to him for that, for doing that. And, um, yeah, like I mentioned in the last video, I'm, I'm pretty sure Joseph Parker and his team are probably going to go out to Brazil. Uh, maybe Dylan White. Some, You know, someone... Some somewhat legitimate opponent, but no one too tough. I mean, what is it? We're in April. It's April 24th. I mean, yeah. If, I mean, if he wanted to take the fight with Wilder, he got three months to prepare. I say, why not? <laughs> you know, why not take that fight? But do keep in mind that Deontay Wilder's been fighting so many bums that he's he's perfected his craft. He's perfected his technique. You know, you can say we can say he's he been fighting all bums and he has been fighting all bums, but he got that technique down, man. He he's ready to practice that against a legitimate opponent. Yeah, like I you know, like I said, I don't think Joseph Park is ready for Deontay Wilder. And I know a lot of y'all gonna hate me for saying that, but I think it's the truth, man. I don't think he 
could beat Deontay Wilder. As crazy as that shit sounds, <laughs> coming from me, I would pick Deontay Wilder to win the fight. But that doesn't change how I feel about Deontay Wilder right now. I still think he's blowing smoke up everyone's ass. I still think he's going to stall. And I really think he just wants to fight Dominic Brazil himself. And he wants to fight Bermain Stavern for a second time. Simple as that. Why you? Why weren't you calling out Vladimir Klitschko this, like this? huh? Why weren't you calling him out when he was the unified champion? You've been a WBC champion for what, two years? Three years now? And you just now looking to make a, a unification bout? I don't know. It don't add up to me personally, but hey, y'all want to believe in Deontay Wilder? Go, go right ahead and believe in him, man. You know, like I said, like I've said in the past videos, man, I feel like not too many people can beat him, but he, he's fighting these bums, and I'm getting tired of this bum show. Tired of it. He's not going to fight Joseph Parker anytime in July. I can bet you any money on that. That's not that fight's not gonna happen. So you could you could record all the YouTube. I mean, you can record all the Instagram, Twitter videos you want, man. But we we already know what time it is. You about to fight? You gonna find some bum? You gonna find some dude? You know from like I don't know Madagascar or the Philippines. You gonna find somebody? You gonna find somebody from from nowhere, Antarctica somewhere. You're going to fight somebody from one of them places. And you're going to yell out Bomb Squad a hundred times. And then you're going to jump whoever you fought after the fight. Like you jumped Dominic Brazil. And you beat him up in front of his family. But hey, you know, I'm getting off, off topic here, man. I really don't feel like talking about Deontay Wilder right now. But the proof's in the pudding. He dropped the video. He says he wants to fight Joseph Parker in July. So you know what? Until further notice... I'm just going to roll with the narrative. I'm going to roll with it until his actions prove otherwise, that he don't want to fight Joseph Parker in July. So you know what? The ball is in Joseph Parker's court right now. How about that? It's in his court. And we'll see what his team has to say about this. You know? But I really believe the WBO wants him to fight on May 6th. They want him to keep that date so they can get their money. Personally. You know, he's going to win. No matter who no matter who he fights, he's going to win. And then they could do the unification. Well, April, was it? It's in May, June, July. I mean, they could push that back to August with Deontay Wilder, August, September. You know? They can get they can get two fights in before the end of the year. I think that would be the smart thing for the WBO. Since it's all about money anyway, right? Hey. Y'all let me know what y'all think it is, man. What y'all think about Deontay Wilder calling out Joseph Parker? You know what? A lot of people don't even know who Joseph Parker is anyway. You know? A lot of people still say he's the weakest champion at heavyweight. But, hey, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, that's a competitive fight, man. But, like I said, Deontay Wilder has a lot of experience in fighting bums. And when you fight bums, you get a chance to work on your technique. And he's developed a lot of new tools of the trade. So he ready to really showcase his talents against one of these other champions and unify. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> shout out to Deontay Wilder for dropping that video, you know? Boom squad! I'm What's up, out. This is your boy Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Look, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase, man. I hear about this Huey Fury backing out two weeks before a fight. Come on, man. Y'all already know they got a history of doing stuff. A family history as that. Oh, yeah. I heard about the injury. Yeah. It, they said it was a, a lack of self-confidence. And that sounded about right. But anyway, moving on, man. Because that's ridiculous. Joseph Parker, if you're really serious about fighting somebody, if you're really serious about unifying the division, if you're really serious about giving the fans what they want to see, then what other person that's available than me? I got the WBC, you got the WBO, let's make it happen. I'm available right now. Forget all them other scrubs that's up in the division coming up. Right now, you're talking about another champion versus another champion. Let's make a unification bout at the end of the year. We'll get a mega fight against the winner, Clisco and John.